Hey guys, I'm back with another video today for you. Uh, this time we're looking at a Skellige deck, a Crack and Crate deck that I've been playing quite a bit of. Um, it might not be super optimised, as I say, like, all the time I'm not the best deck builder out there, especially when it comes to, like, proper competitive ladder stuff, but I try my hand here and there, and yeah, this is probably not the best version of Skellige or the best version of even this type of deck, but um, it's what I've been playing, and it worked reasonably well. And it was, you know, a decent time to play, so figured I'd throw this one out there onto the YouTube channel. So, let's uh, walk through the cards, the strategy and whatnot, and then jump into games, as we always do. Um, so we have Crack. The kind of reasoning behind this is it's just a solid, you know, amount of points. It's like the kind of two-round leader I dub him. He's best in two rounds, or I guess three, um, but better in two rounds than the three-round heroes, such as, you know, your... Uh, Ithne or your Morvran or whatever, um, as in his ability is better in two rounds than it is in three or one, uh, because it does it's not constrained by any of those conditions, only the two cooldown uh, aspects. So it's an okay ability, it will get you like, I don't know exactly how many points, maybe like eight or around eight points throughout the course of the game, um, give or take some, depending on, you know, um, if the game is extended by certain cards or you not being able to use it at some point or whatever, um, but around, yeah, seven or eight uses, so it's a decent value leader, and it has the highest mulligan, uh, you know, amount of any of the Skellige leaders, which I think is, you know, moderately important, especially in this kind of a deck, where you have a lot of discard uh, targets that you need to have synergy, you know, within your hand to be able to get the value from, so sometimes you might need to mulligan the way, uh, plus we have the witches, which of course I can eat mulligans. So that's kind of the reasoning behind crack. It might not be the best leader. Uh, I was playing iced before on recommendation of some of, some other players, um, and I just wasn't finding it too amazing. It kind of bricks sometimes in this deck, but you can definitely try iced if you want. So the core of the deck, we have Phoenix. Um, this is a really good carryover card, uh, giving you the Phoenix Hatchling. If they can't destroy that artifact later in the game, it's like really nice carryover. Um, and you're going to like get rid of this usually with the Duran uh, at some point, or you can maybe play it from hand, discard it with Burner, whatever. Um, there's lots of ways to get that into the graveyard. Um, next we have Sigdrifa's Right. This summons a warrior uh, from Graveyard to Allied Row, and this is really, really neat uh, with Jutta, uh, because her effect is damaging herself by 6 if she's the highest unit. However, <coughs> um, this effect doesn't trigger if you summon her from the graveyard because deploy is a play effect rather than a summon effect. So you just get a free 12 point body with the Sigdrifa's right. So that's a pretty neat combo. That's the main reason it's in here. It also works with Veteran, which has the same effect pretty much as Jutta. <coughs> and if you summon this with the Sigdrifa's right, it's just a straight 8 point unit. So uh, this card is really only, you know, worth it in terms of provisions when you get the Jutta res, but otherwise it's pretty decent, you know, the rest of the time. Um, next we have Canby, this card's really nice, it, it can discard like a high value unit from your opponent, while also, you know, getting the value on a discard, say you get rid of Morkvarg, then it ends up being 9 for 10 provisions, plus you get rid of an opponent's card, which is pretty good, pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, it just works well in this deck. Uh, next we have Hyama, this is kind of synergizing really well with the veterans, and with Jutta to an extent. Um, he's just some nice targeted removal. Uh, you can really get the value from that uh, quite efficiently with putting those veterans in the graveyard. Um, next is Becker's Mirror. This works really well with, with Jutta as well. Um, and to a lesser degree with veterans. Veterans, if you use it on them, it will be worth 8 points. If you use it on a Jutta, it's worth 12. So Becker's is really good value in this deck. and It's one of the, the nice power plays that you have. Frenzy Dao, good value. Burner Bran, really nice with the discards that we have. We have Skirmisher, which is just three points if you discard it, and we also have, of course, Morkvarg and Phoenix, as we talked about already. Um, so there is the Morkvarg, he's just three points when you discard him, always wanting to, to either, you know, get him out with Duran or Burner, or, you know, Canby, and we also have a Skald here for discard. Lots of synergies there um, to get the value. Then, of course, Duran. Quite often with him, you want to just get rid of the junk from your deck if there's no better targets. Maybe you put a bear in the graveyard, maybe a wolf pack, uh, maybe you throw a veteran in there, maybe you throw Mortvarg. It depends on the situation and how many points you need as to what you're targeting with him, but he's really useful for thinning and getting rid of the bad stuff. Jutta we've talked about, just a really nice card in this deck. It fits 
across the board. Um, I'm trying out Jenga. I had White Frost in, but it wasn't really that good. I think you're just going to have to suck it up and lose to the artifact decks if you're playing it, so with this version, probably. Um, but Jenga seems like good value. You can pretty much always get the Bloodthirst effect when you're playing the Crack, which is always damaging stuff, so he's just a nice value lock uh, in case we need more removal or whatever to deal with their stuff. Witchers, really good value, of course. Uh, veterans, we've talked about their purpose. Skald is just more of that discard synergy. This card's pretty good value for what it is. Brockvar Hunter, trying to give us some payback on playing all of the, uh, some payoff on playing all of the discard cards. Sometimes it won't work. It can be really good if you get it down turn one uh, in certain situations, maybe with tactical advantage as well. Uh, Wolf Pack, and then yeah, just the rest of these are kind of generic for provision filler. Uh, that you want to get rid of probably round one or discard them at some point in the game. Um, Savage Bear is actually probably the better one of these. And Marauder, if you play it as the first play in reaction to your opponent playing something, it can be worth six points. So sometimes it's really not that bad. And it averages four if you assume two of the damage will go to your units and two to the opponent. So not too bad. Um, and yeah, that's just the deck. So let's jump into a game and see how it plays. Okay, here we go. Looks like we've got a Usurper opponent. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Um, shuts down our leader ability, of course. I haven't actually played against Usurper yet, so this will be interesting. Um, probably here we'll mulligan the Witchers. Sometimes you could consider not doing that if you want to play the Burner early on and not play the Witchers, but I think, generally speaking, correct to get rid of them, of course. Um, so yeah, round one, we just kind of want to get rid of our bad cards, maybe do some thinning. Um, and yeah, just kind of just kind of do a chill pill. Um, ooh, that is not good for him having an, a, a Witcher in hand. Um, and yeah, we can put some nice pressure on. We just want to set up our graveyard really, as I said, do the thinning, all that good stuff. Probably we can start with the Savage Bear. Kind of want to get one of these out or to discard one at some point, right? Um, just so that you make sure you are getting the value on the second one. Well, I should, probably should have uh, damaged one of his units there. That was a mistake for the Jenge Bloodthirst effect. Also, probably Marauder would have been better there, but we can play it now, I guess. Um, it's not too bad. Um, I've, I didn't see we had that in hand. Would have been a little bit more value uh, had that had we played it the other way. But maybe we get the Savage Bear and are able to reap the you know the value on the on that card. Um, we could destroy this artifact, but I'm thinking we probably save our artifact destruction in case he's got some kind of uh, more cheeky stuff that he wants to play. We'll play Witches now, thin them out, and then we can get Burner up and running after that as well. Jenge is, in fact, working, so if we need to lock a unit, that could be really nice. Ooh, that's pretty painful. Uh, pretty nasty stuff. Beckers does work if you want to damage the opponent's units, though, so... That's worth keeping in mind. Probably we will just play Burner now. We could also just play the Veteran from hand. I think Burner's okay. Um, see what we get. Maybe, uh, okay, Jutter's also a nice card. It's going to work really well with the Beckers. Probably we get rid of the Skirmisher and the, War uh, the Marauder here, I think. It's probably our two lowest value cards. We can play uh, Veteran at some point from hand. Not too big of an issue. Um, but we will need to make sure that Within two cards, we reach a score. So maybe Jutta plus Beckers will be how we do it. Um, we'll see. We obviously want to set up the Sigdreefers right. That would be really nice. Um, it might be better to play Veteran here, but uh, I think playing Jutta is also fine. We can just get that that Beckers value. If he passes, if he doesn't, we don't have to use Beckers. We probably will, although it is an eight-point card, so there's consideration to keep it and maybe play the... Uh, like the Jenge instead or something. Uh, and we get a uh, Siri from him, which is very nice. We can probably go ahead and play uh, Beckers and then lock this uh, afterwards. If he doesn't get ahead, then that will be really good for us. This will be a 12 point swing, so pretty strong. Um, remember, if we're resing Jutta later on, then uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to use the Beckers on her as easily, so. Okay, that's fine. We could swap the Jenge for the Siri. I don't think that's a good trade, so we'll just take the win on even. Um, he'll, of course, get the card back. But a win a card down is not too shabby. We can just try pass back, um, which is probably what we're going to be forced to do here. That just becomes a little bit scary if he's playing a lot of artifacts. Um, there's also a consideration to maybe play here since we drew the Phoenix. We can Duran and then maybe find the value on that. 
I think we probably go for it. Because the Duran play is actually worth quite a few points when we consider Morkvarg um, coming out as well. So yeah, we'll go with that. Um, get the Morkvarg, get the Phoenix, and then probably we get rid of the Wolf. Um, we kind of want to find the Skirmisher and the Scout combo, that would be really good. Alternatively, the Brockvar Hunter might actually be worse, because we don't really have enough discards to make that worth it. So we'll get rid of that one. Uh, cool, cool. It's a 10 point card to get ahead here, you probably won't have that. Um, okay, 6 points. Now we can decide to keep playing here, might be worth it. Maybe play a veteran and set up the graveyard a bit more, I'm kind of feeling like that's a good idea. Um, even though he might be able to catch up, it's probably worth doing this so that our Hyalmar is looking good. Right now it's a bit dead, um, we want to be resing the Jutta, right, and not the Hyalmar, so... Um, yeah, not using it for Hyalmar, I mean. Uh, and we could even play another one, honestly. Probably it's fine, I think. Just in case he has artifacts as well, we might. Uh, we don't really want to run into Sahil or something with Caretaker in round 3 in a long, long round. Um, the shorter it is, the better. Oh, uh, we get a Yennefer from him, that's nice. Also see he has Igni in deck, so that's kind of nice information to have. Probably at this point we really are considering passing. We could also play Sigdrifa's right, just to get the 12 point body now, and then have the Hjalmar available as a, you know, slamming an opponent's unit for 12. I kind of like that play. Um, it also puts some more pressure on, again, if uh, the opponent is uh, playing artifacts and stuff. Plus, you know, we know the Igni's in the deck, so hopefully that's not going to be uh, coming out right now to counter this. Um, he might have a Royal Decree or something, but uh, yeah, it's kind of good to get rid of it anyway. Get rid of it anyway if he has it, you know, uh, if he does have Royal Decree. Uh, it won't actually get him ahead because it's only 14 points, so yeah. If he has Menno into Royal Decree or something, then maybe it's uh, going to be good enough for him, but that's pretty niche. I think we don't play around him having that. We just go for the value, go for the bleed, and yeah. Hopefully they all good. Oh, that's just a really good one for him to hit. He gets the free four points. Um, yeah, we probably have to take a pass now. These other cards aren't really cutting it. Jenge might not be too valuable in round three, but six points is okay. Uh, even without the effect, we probably will mulligan a uh, different card. That's pretty unfortunate, him getting the foot soldier from that. Uh, we could have probably got an extra card from him had he not managed to find that. Uh, so he got a little bit fortunate there, but whatever, it is what it is. We'll see if our finish is good enough here. Um, can be... Ooh, this is not looking very good. Probably we, we get rid of Wolfpack, I think. It's going to be our least valuable card, kind of no matter what, right? Um, we do have the Phoenix Hatchling for carryover if he uh, doesn't have an answer to that, which it looks like he doesn't. Um, so that's good. Probably we can just... Ooh, can't actually kill this with bear, unfortunately. Um, I was kind of hoping we could, but not. It seems like we can't. So we probably just Hjalmar it, probably, right? Um, uh, or lock it. Can we lock it? That would probably be the best way to deal with this, right? So we probably go bear, uh, shoot twice, and then lock, I think. Seems like the play here. Uh, we lock next turn or whatever. Seems okay. We got the answers. Uh, he's going for the second one. That's perfectly fine. So we'll lock this one now. And then we can Hjalmar the second one. We could have done it the other way around, I guess, but this is probably fine. We have 12 damage, so there's basically no chance that he's gonna, um, you know, buff this up or whatever. Good thing we won round one, otherwise, this combo would have been pretty, uh, pretty terrifying uh, to deal with, but yeah. We're looking good. We could go with Cambi. I think Cambi is the safest play um, right now. Hopefully discard something good for him. Can we check what we discarded? I think it was Swears. Very nice. Deny some, deny some good value from him. We got rid of a 4 point card and for him we got rid of a 9 point card or something. So Cambi ends up being quite a few points. And that is fine. Now we go with Hjalmar. Remember to place it on melee because it's uh, melee locked. And we'll just knock out the Siri. So he's going to need a heck of a lot of points to catch up here. Great thing about this deck is it's just really solid value. Like, um, every card you have is worth a fair amount of points. You know, nothing's below four points. And you are you have a fair amount of, you know, above ten point plays um, throughout the game. So that's really cool. 
Um, yeah, that worked pretty well. Obviously, if you have crack available, you want to just be pinging stuff the whole game long, getting that value. Um, there's no restriction there, so yeah, really nice. Um, it's pro ladder games. Ooh, I got a card. Anyhow, uh, yeah, that'll do us for today then. I uh, hope you enjoy the deck if you try it, and hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.